a quarter of a century, the Porsche Boxster and Cayman models have set the gold standard for mid-engine sports cars and roadsters. With two decades of excellence under the Cayman's belt, Porsche has decided to embark on an electrifying journey. This shift signals the direction of electrification as the future of high-performance sports cars. Porsche has already demonstrated this vision. Was this electrification needed? The decision to transform an established Porsche model into an electric powerhouse will send ripples throughout the automotive industry. While the 911 remains Porsche's benchmark, the 718 series holds a prominent position, and its shift to electric power will likely shape the future of electric sports cars. Leap into the future Porsche's CEO, Oliver Bloom, has unequivocally confirmed that the next-gen 718 model will be fully electric. While specific details remain closely guarded, some insights have emerged, including substantial component sharing with the 911. This arrangement will enable both the electric sports car and the 911 to share the same assembly line at the Zuffenhausen plant. However, the key differentiator lies in the electric 718's new pure electric platform, significantly influenced by the Mission R project based on the current gen Cayman. You might not be surprised if the next-gen Cayman shares major design cues with the Mission R concept with influences from the new Mission X concept. Exterior The rise of electric vehicles poses a unique challenge for convertibles, given the need for aerodynamics to optimize range and structural integrity typically provided by a roof. Porsche is undeterred by this challenge and has confirmed the development of an electric Boxster. Test mules of an electric Boxster have already been spotted conquering Nürburgring. Furthermore, Porsche's CEO, Oliver Bloom, affirmed that the 718 Boxster convertible will launch by 2025, with an electric 718 Cayman Coupe also in the pipeline. Despite the heavy camouflage on prototypes, features like active shutters in the front air intakes and distinctive taillights connected by a light strip are evident. The sound, or rather the absence of engine noise, underscores the electric powertrain. While the overall proportions may align with the current 718, the car exhibits a wider and lower stance at the front, reflecting the design previewed by the Porsche Mission R concept unveiled at the 2021 Munich Auto Show, emphasizing Porsche's commitment to electric racing. Interior Images offer a tantalizing glimpse of the Boxster's interior, showcasing a significant leap in sophistication compared to the current model. While unfinished, it's evident that the new Boxster embraces a dual-screen setup similar to the one found in the Taycan. Cayman Powertrain The pure electric powertrain employed in the Porsche Mission R concept aligns with the prowess of the 911 GT3 Cup race car. This system features two electric motors, with the front motor delivering 429 horsepower and the rear motor propelling the rear wheels with 644 horsepower, resulting in a combined output of 1,073 horsepower. Porsche's emphasis isn't solely on horsepower but on how power is delivered. Modern electric vehicles often grapple with performance degradation influenced by factors like battery state, age, and temperature. Porsche has addressed this challenge by designing a system that ensures a constant output rate, achieved through a direct oil cooling mechanism for the motors. Anticipation suggests that the production model will utilize only the rear electric motor rather than an all-wheel drive setup. This approach helps manage costs, enhance handling dynamics with a lighter front end, and avoid overshadowing the hybridized 911 in the future. The 644 horsepower generated should suffice for an electric Cayman or convertible Boxster. However, the prospect of more potent dual-motor configurations remain open, potentially paving the way for the first all-wheel-drive Cayman and Boxster models. Additionally, the Mission R employs a 900-volt rapid-charging architecture, a feature expected in the electric Cayman and Boxster. A win-win situation. With the transition of the Cayman and Boxster to electric power, Porsche is poised to redefine performance, handling, and balance standards for electric sports cars. Simultaneously, this move ensures that the 911 remains the epitome of the ultimate driving experience as a gas-powered hybridized sports car for at least one more generation. Competitive Landscape As electric Cayman and Boxster models emerge, competition may arise from late model used Boxsters and Caymans, the Tesla Roadster if it progresses beyond concept stage, and the Lotus Amira. Porsche has outlined its plan to introduce the all-new electric Cayman and Boxster sports cars by 2025, with a full reveal expected by late 2024. 
While the current generation models start at $68,000 for the standard four-cylinder variant and can reach $160,000 for the high-performance versions, the electric models are likely to bear a higher price tag. Depending on the trim, the price hike could range from $15,000 to $20,000, placing the electric Cayman and Boxster in the ballpark of $83,000 to $90,000. Challenges The key challenge lies in striking the right emotional chord with the 718 EV. Many electric vehicles tend to come across as clinical and lack the emotional connection that entices enthusiasts. It remains to be seen if the market is prepared for a shift to electric sports cars. Key Highlights The next generation Porsche 718 Cayman and Boxster will be exclusively electric, reinforcing Porsche's commitment to electrification in the realm of sports cars. Porsche has showcased remarkable performance in its electric models like the Taycan and the Mission R concept, instilling confidence in the upcoming electric sports car. Expect the electric 718 Cayman and Boxster to share components with the 911 and be built on a fresh electric platform, influenced by the current gen Cayman-based Mission R project. These electric models are anticipated to come with a higher price tag compared to their gas power counterparts. That's all for now. Thank you for watching. Hope you liked the video and don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more incoming cars reviews and do let us know about your feedback in the comments section.